The fourth Utah man accused of participating in the riot at the U.S. Capitol was scheduled in federal court today. Haley Higgins has new information about suspect Jake Pert. Well, Pert came to the FBI two weeks after the insurrection and before investigators even knew who he was. Now, I spoke to him on the phone today. He did not want to interview, but it appears that he has been cooperating with the FBI months before his charges. Willard Pert, who goes by Jake, posted this selfie to social media outside the U.S. Capitol building on January 6th. He's a well-known real estate agent in Washington County and father of five. The DOJ says Pert admitted to going to the nation's capital for a President Trump rally. The 45-year-old confessed he went into the Capitol near the Senate chamber and was chanting and yelling out for politicians. At one point, he wrapped his himself in a red Trump flag. In court documents, an FBI agent wrote Pert intended to disrupt the Electoral College certification. Quote, while inside, Pert's conduct was disorderly and disruptive. Going on to say, quote, at no time did Pert have permission to be inside the U.S. Capitol building. Surveillance shows him interacting with FBI agents who escorted him out of the building. For nearly four years, Pert served on the Tokerville Planning Commission beginning in 2015. Meeting minutes show he would occasionally lead commissioners in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, Pert is charged with unlawfully entering the Capitol and then demonstrating once inside. He is not accused of harming anyone or destroying property, according to the charging documents. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah. There have been three other Utahns arrested in connection with the U.S. Capitol insurrection. Brady Knowlton from St. George is the most recent person to be charged for his role in the Capitol riot. Now, before the insurrection, Knowlton was a reality TV star star well known to help legalize catching catfish with your bare hands in Texas, also known as noodling. Former Salt Lake City police officer Michael Harden of Kaysville was arrested at the beginning of this month on several charges. He is a former homicide detective and retired from Salt Lake City four years ago. And the first Utah arrested in connection with the January 6th incident was this man, activist John Sullivan. He's now facing several charges, including obstruction of Congress and interfering with police.